Carpe Seuss. Ben and I went after a hog that had showed up on the game cameras. He hadn't been there in a couple days, and when he was there, it was early in the morning. We got there just before dark, got in the stand about 8 o'clock. By 9 o'clock, the hog was walking by the stand, only about 10 yards away, walking through the woods. It circled around and come into the opening there. Now he's gone back into the woods. He's going to come out again here in a second. He's waiting for the feeder to go off, which should be going off in a few minutes. Now Ben's testing his 338 Federal ammunition, and I'm testing my cavity back bullets MKZ, so we're going to shoot in different areas of the hog so that we have different wound channels to examine. This is also an opportunity for me to shoot in a non-lethal area to see what the bullet will do to the hog. Ben's going to be the one actually delivering the kill shot. And we both hit our marks with Ben hitting the head and me hitting the hip. The hog came in right at 210 pounds. Ben's shot was just below the ear here. And I thought the bullet had gone through and was under the skin here where you see this lump. Now it could have been one of two things. It could have been the bullet or it could have been a pus pocket, which it turned out to be with nothing inside of it. No bullet or anything else. It was just nasty. So went ahead and, and uh, did some more dissection on the hog. There's the entry wound that you see here. You can see the damage around the wound area. On the opposite side, there were several wound channels it looked like but no actual bullet, so we skinned away more of the hog on that side. You can see the deep red meat where there's damaged tissue. A lot of damage done by the bullet, but still no bullet recovered. So Ben ripped off his head so we could examine it further. We removed the jaw. The base of the brain case was completely destroyed as you see here, and despite looking, we never found the bullet or any bullet fragments. My target was the tail end, and the bullet entered here. This was higher up and further back than where I was aiming, which was about here. This is because the hog was in motion at the time that I pulled the trigger, and because Ben pulled the trigger about six one hundredths of a second before I did, and so the hog was actually hit and going down by the time my bullet arrived. Peeling back the skin, the entry wound was unremarkable as most entry wounds are. Removing more tissue, I found a permanent wound cavity large enough for me to insert my finger into, and then up here noticed that there was a lot of hemorrhaging and damaged tissue so I pulled back more and discovered that the femur had been completely shattered by this little 105 grain bullet before it transected the body and then exited on the other side here. Now this was a small exit wound but peeling back the skin revealed a lot more damage underneath. My fingers inserted in the permanent wound cavity and then you can see all the damaged tissue around it. This is an impressive amount of damage for such a lightweight bullet that had already shattered one of the larger bones of the body. Carpe Seuss, my friends.